In a painting with a mythological subject, I'm going to describe who are the characters. Starting from the right side, the character with the red cloak is the god Mercury, the messenger of the gods, who's shaking a cane in the air to chase away the clouds, because the last clouds of the winter, they don't have to disturb the coming of the spring. Then, beside, we have three girls dancing together, the three graces, who represent the three kinds of love. Botticelli represented them, same height, same dress, they dance together, making a sort of circle of love. Beside is Venus, the goddess of love, love itself. She's pregnant, in that case, pregnancy means the greatest love of all, she gives a new life. The most curious detail is the one above her, Cupid, her son, who's throwing the arrow of love blindfolded. He doesn't know who will be shot, and from this way to represent Cupid comes the famous idiom, love is blind. Beside Flora, the goddess of the spring, she's wearing a wonderful dress full of flowers. With the left hand, she's holding pink flowers. With the right hand, she's spreading them around to symbolize that whenever the spring comes, the flowers, they blossom. The last two characters, the man in blue is Zephyr, god of the winds who asked Chloe to be his wife, she refused and she tried to escape. Botticelli represented the moment of kidnapping in which he catches her and she transforms herself into Flora. This is shown through the detail of the flowers that comes out from her mouth and melt and mix together with the flowers of the dress of Flora. The Allegory of the Spring, Sandro Botticelli, 1480.